Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And for today's video, we are focused on the chemical property of benzene, which is in your topic 4.3. And in this video, we are focused mainly on your electrophilic aromatic substitution. We are going to learn four different electrophilic aromatic substitution. The first one is your halogenation. Your second is your nitration. The third is your Fiedercraft alkylation. Last but not least is your Fiedercraft acylation. These are the four that we are going to look into in this video. First and foremost, let's look at the chemical property of the benzene itself. Benzene, you know that your benzene looks something like this, and your benzene is very stable. And when it's very stable, therefore you cannot break the double bond easily. This is the pi bond or you call double bond in the benzene ring that you cannot break easily. And when you cannot break the double bond easily, which part of the benzene will undergo reaction? Is the hydrogen atom. You can only substitute the hydrogen atom. But if you look at your benzene, where is the hydrogen atom? The hydrogen atom is actually bonded to each of the carbon. Everybody knows that in the skeletal structure, the hydrogen will be high away. And we know that one carbon can have four bonds. So you already have three over here. One more is actually your hydrogen. So your benzene ring is actually a C6H6 compound. And that is your benzene ring. And the one that will undergo reaction is this hydrogen. Okay. And since your benzene ring is an extremely electron rich species, your benzene ring itself is a nucleophile. Therefore, only electrophile can substitute the hydrogen atom because electrophile is a electron poor species. Electron poor species will be go find the electron rich species of your benzene ring. Okay, so by that in mind, only electrophile can replace this hydrogen atom that's sitting on the benzene ring. As a result, your benzene ring can only undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution. Just a kind reminder again, we have four types of electrophilic aromatic substitution that we are looking to in your benzene. The first one is your halogenation. The second is your nitration, Fiedercraft alkylation, and also Fiedercraft acylation. Let's start with the halogenation. The halogenation is very simple and straightforward. The example that I have for you is probably the only tool that will come out in your exam. First and foremost, you have the presence of your benzene ring reacting with the Cl2 with the presence of your catalyst, your AlCl3 over here. And then what happened is your Cl will be substituting the hydrogen. But that in mind is a substitution because this carbon is holding the hydrogen. So your Cl will be substituting the hydrogen. That's why you become an electrophilic substitution. And the byproduct is your HCl. The hydrogen come from the benzene, the extra Cl that you have from the Cl2 will become HCl. The another halogenation will be using your Br2 with the catalyst of FeBr3. So your catalyst over here change because it's a Br2 right now. So your catalyst will be FeBr3. The same thing guys, the Br is substituting the hydrogen that you have on the benzene ring. The carbon is actually holding one of the hydrogen and this hydrogen is substituted by the Br from the Br2. And also you have a byproduct of HBr. Simple. And what will be the electrophile of this halogenation? The electrophile will be your Cl positive and also your Br positive. By that in mind, electrophile is your positive charge ion or your electron poor species. So the electron poor species in here is your Cl positive and the Br positive that substitute the hydrogen in the benzene ring. Okay? As a result, you will come across electrophilic aromatic substitution. And that's it about halogenation. Simple. Be careful with the catalyst over here 
and for this process to happen this catalyst is a must next let's look at nitration your nitration is even easier your nitration can only have one formula which is this where you have your benzene ring react with concentrated HNO3 with the presence of catalyst sulfuric acid again that is your catalyst at the temperature of 55 degrees celsius and guess what happened the hydrogen that bonded to the carbon in your benzene ring will be substituted by the NO2 that come from the nitric acid produce the water as a byproduct that is the substitution process that happened your concentrated nitric acid is the one that produced the NO2 therefore it must be a plus over here your concentrated sulfuric acid is a catalyst so it will be on top of the arrow the temperature must be 55 degrees celsius and your electrophile in this case will be your NO2 positive this guy okay and this again is your electrophilic aromatic substitution and in your nitration this is the only formula this is the only thing that you need to know what are you using what is the catalyst what is the temperature what is being produced simple next you have your feeder craft arculation feeder craft arculation over here means your r group and if you remember your r group is also your carbon carbon group okay so let's see what happened your feeder craft arculation will be focused on the hydrogen in your benzene ring definitely and also the r group or the carbon that holding the halogen this bond will break when this bond break the r group will be substituting the hydrogen with a condition the presence of your catalyst it can also using cl but the same thing with a different catalyst only since we are using cl so your catalyst is alcl3 and the same thing happen is we are going to replace this hydrogen with the r group that attached to the cl so the r group will be substituting the hydrogen simple and your electrophile over here will be your r positive or is actually your carbocation positive and all this is still under your electrophilic aromatic substitution we'll look into example for this feeder craft arculation the first example that I have over here is your benzene ring react with CH3Br with the presence of FeBr3 catalyst. So what happened guys? Expand one of the hydrogen in your benzene ring knowing that this hydrogen will be replaced. Replaced by what? Replaced by the CH3Br. So we know that the carbon that we will focus on is the carbon that holding the Br. This bond will break. So when this bond break, the CH3 will be substituting the H. As a result, your product will look something like this. H substituted by CH3 and you form a byproduct of HBr. Alright, so we only focus on the carbon that holding the halogen. Break the bond, the carbon group go into the benzene ring substituting the hydrogen and simple and who will become your electrophile your electrophile will be a ch3 positive so your electrophile is the species that substitute the hydrogen again it's an electrophilic aromatic substitution let's try another example same thing guys we only focus on the carbon that holding the cl this is the carbon that holding the Cl with the presence of your catalyst. What will happen to this bond? This bond will break. When this bond break, what is going to substitute this hydrogen? Again, make sure you show the hydrogen. Simple. Who will be substituting this hydrogen? The carbon that holding the Cl just now will be go in and substitute the hydrogen. Therefore, your product will look something like this. The benzene ring remain unchanged because the double bond in the benzene ring are extremely stable. 
So the hydrogen right now went out and substituted by the carbon that holding the Cl. So this carbon is the carbon that holding the Cl. The Cl right now removed. So this carbon still holding CH3, CH3, and CH3. And you have the byproduct of H coming from the benzene and Cl coming from the halo alkene. Simple. And that is your Fiedercraft alkylation. Alkylation means your R group, in the other words, is your carbon group. And this is the carbon group that V substitute the hydrogen. And who will become your electrophile? Simple. The group that substitute the hydrogen is your C positive holding CH3, CH3, and CH3. So this is the electrophile in this reaction. Make sure it's a C positive. Simple, easy. Let's try another example of your Fiedercraft alkylation. So over here, you have your benzene react with your bromocyclopropane. The catalyst that you use will be FeBr3 because it's a Br. And what happened guys? Simple. The hydrogen will be substituted by the carbon that holding the Br. So the Br and the carbon will break their bond and your product will be something like this. Where the hydrogen will be substituted by the cyclopropane and the attachment is the carbon that holding the Br just now. And your byproduct will be your HBr the hydrogen coming out from the benzene and the Br coming out from the bromocyclopropane. And that is your product. Simple. Make sure you remember the presence of your catalyst. Without catalyst, this process will never happen. So make sure, make sure you have the catalyst down. And like we said before, we don't mind what is the carbon group back that. We only care who is holding the Br or Cl. And the carbon that will substitute the hydrogen is the one that bonded to Br. That is the carbon that substitute the hydrogen. See that? Simple. And who will be your electrophile? The group that substitute the hydrogen will be electrophile. So the group that substitute hydrogen is your positive cyclopropane. This is your electrophile under electrophilic aromatic substitution. You need to know who is the electrophile, okay? Next, let's go into Fiedercraft oscillation. So oscillation, slightly different. You need to have the presence of C, double bond O, bonded to your Cl, okay? So the R group, again, is your carbon group or your alkyl group. What matter over here is the carbon that holding the Cl must be holding a double bond. So the same carbon holding halogen, the same carbon holding double bond, O. And what happened is, the hydrogen on the benzene ring will be substituted by the carbon that holding the Cl. Because the same thing happened, Cl bond with the carbon will break. And then Cl will come out, combined with the hydrogen forming HCl. And the carbon that loses the chlorine will be substituting the hydrogen on your benzene ring. Simple. And that is your Fiedercraft oscillation. And your electrophile over here is your carbon double bond O holding R group holding positive charge. That is your electrophile in your electrophilic aromatic substitution in this case. All right. Simple. Let's try one example of this. So don't forget the presence of your catalyst AlCl3 for this. We only focus on one thing, the hydrogen that you want to substitute and the carbon that holding the Cl. All right? And this bond will break. So who will substitute hydrogen? The carbon that loses the chlorine just now will be substituting the hydrogen and your product will look something like this carbon double bond o bonded to ch 
this CH bonded to CH3 bonded to CH3. And that is your product with the presence of your byproduct HCl. The H and the Cl. Okay? So it's very simple and straightforward. The hydrogen in the benzene will be substituted by the carbon that holding the Cl just now. So the other thing that doesn't change, you basically copy paste back. All right. And who is your electrophile? Your electrophile is the group of atom that substitute the hydrogen, which is C double bond O. The carbon bonded to the benzene ring will become positive. You have your CH, CH3, CH3. And this is your electrophile in this question. And this is the last electrophilic aromatic substitution that we are going to talk about. Simple. Focus only on the carbon that holding the Cl. When the Cl remove, the carbon that holding the Cl just now will be substituting the hydrogen. Easy. And that carbon must be holding a positive charge because that is your electrophile. Okay? Simple. Easy. So, your electrophilic aromatic substitution having four halogenation, nitration, Fiedercraft alkylation, and Fiedercraft oscillation. We have discussed the chemical equation just now. Make sure you know that in your chemical equation, what is your reagent and also condition. What is needed? What type of catalyst? And the most important is, what is your product? What is the electrophile? Okay, so those are the things that we have discussed in your electrophilic aromatic substitution for all the four reactions. Simple, easy. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back in the next video.